Today we're doing cherry themed DIYs for a tiered tray and we're going to be doing somewhat of a baking theme with this today. That's how I'm going to be doing it. So I hope you join me. I'm Marie. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you are here. DIY number one is going to be a cherry pie, faux cherry pie. So what I have here is flour sack cloth that I have dipped in coffee. Now I want to say right off the bat that my two, my cake and my pie that I'm doing today, I learned from a channel called Mother Time and I would definitely check out her channel. She has great DIYs, she does great decorating. If you like my stuff, you'll love hers too. So what I'm going to do is I have a pie plate from a frozen dinner <laughs> or a frozen chicken pot pie and I just washed it out and I'm going to use it to make my pie plate for this DIY. So I think you can buy these in the store new if you want and um, I mean if you wanted to do that that would probably be better but I'm just using what I have on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my burnt umber and I'm going to use this to paint the base of my pie plate. And so we're going to go ahead and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the inside of it. Now I painted the entire inside. I don't, you probably don't have to paint the entire inside. You could probably just paint around the edges. Uh, you just, you know, you want to make sure that you don't see the pie plate like that. You want to make sure that it's all covered so that when you look at it, it looks like a brown pie plate. So I'm just going to paint that all over and then I'm going to take some hot glue and put it on the inside and I have some batting left over from an old pillow that I use to do DIYs with and so that's what I'm using here. Okay, we're going to trace around my flower sack cloth. And once we do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab our scissors and we're actually going to cut Make sure you cut, don't cut where you've traced, but cut extra, you know, like, like it is an actual pie crust that you're putting on a pie. And then we're going to glue around the edge of the plate there, and then we're going to put it down just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to trim, I'm going to trim around the edges, okay? So I'm going to trim all of these edges off. And the other thing that I want to tell you is make sure that you have extra pieces because we're going to be taking those edges now and we're going to be folding them over on each other. And I'm going to use the glue gun, so I'm going to secure it with the glue gun there. And then I'm going to be putting a dab of glue on the top and then I'm going to be folding it over. So you're going to need extra strips of the flour sack cloth because you're going to need more than what you cut around. You're going to need extra pieces to be able to get all of this around the pie. So, you know, like this piece was the one I cut around the whole thing. So this is maybe going to cover almost half of it. So you're going to need, like I said, the extra pieces. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the extra pieces and we're going to trim them down a little bit. And then we're just going to put them all around here. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's done. And then I just have one little piece left here, so I'm just kind of piecing it together here at the end. Again, make sure that you cut enough. I didn't, so I'm, I'm piecing mine together a little bit. So after you do this, I have some Elmer's spray glue, and I took it outside and I sprayed it. I didn't spray it inside, and then I took some cinnamon and I sprinkled it all over. So I sprayed the top, and then I sprinkled the cinnamon all over it, and then I used a brush to kind of brush off the extra cinnamon. And then after I did that, I took some, um, some glitter that I had. Now this glitter has a little bit of green in it and it's supposed to look like sugar, but it was a little bit of a mess and it didn't stick very well. I used my sanding, uh, I had the sand here I used instead and that worked better. Take it outside and spray it again. And then I took some berries from Walmart that I had from last Christmas. I got this idea from Leah at Junkanecker DIY. She did some milkshakes and she put the cherries on top and used these berries. And so I got this idea from her. Make sure you check out her channel because she does some really good DIYs. 
And then we're going to glue these to the top. Now you don't see me doing this here, but definitely glue those to the top. And then we have our cherry pie. It's all done. DIY number two is a faux cake. And this also I got from Mother Time. So we're going to take these floral rounds and I'm going to make a stacked cake. Now what I'm going to do is I don't have exactly the right color to paint it to look like a baked cake. So I'm taking the caramel and the burnt umber and I'm mixing those together and that's giving me the right color that I need. So you want to paint the top of this because you know you, you're going to see the top. And then you want to make sure that you also paint the sides. If you I don't know if you want to paint the bottom or not, but you only have to paint the top and the sides. Um, I actually made the mistake of painting the middle of it and I didn't really, that was unnecessarily necessary. I didn't have to do that. So here I am painting the sides. And then after you do that, you're gonna let it dry. I actually let mine sit and dry overnight because it's kind of porous here, here with this uh, foam. And then after that, I got some lightweight spackle and I'm going to take that and then I'm going to add to that some pink color, acrylic paint. And so I'm adding the pink to that because I want to have pink frosting. And um, also you can see that I glued the middle and I wasn't thinking very well when I was doing this at the time. So don't glue the middle because what you're going to do is you're going to take the spackle and I have like an offset spatula there. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add it to the middle and we're going to spread it around like we're putting it in the middle of a cake. See how that looks just like a cake? Pretty cool. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the spackle to the top. Now, a lot of people do what they call naked cakes, kind of where they they spread the frosting slash spackle on, but they kind of make it so that you can see through the cake. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to make it so that it's somewhat of a naked cake and you spread it and you can still see what's underneath. But I was really enjoying this. I actually enjoyed making this cake a lot more than I enjoyed making the pie. I did not really like using the cinnamon and the, um, the glitter. I just, it was too messy and sticky for me because you had to use the spray glue. But I really liked this. I mean, I felt like I was frosting a real cake, you know, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And so I kept piling it on and piling it on. And so mine is is kind of more of a um, totally frosted cake. It's not quite a naked cake, but um, I still like it. And I think I left it kind of naked in parts, but mostly it's frosted. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the berries again from Christmas that I, the idea I got from Leah. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to cut a few of those off and then I wasn't sure how many I wanted to use at first. I just put a few on there and then I just kept adding with the spackle there. And then so I ended up putting several on here to kind of decorate the top of this cake. After you do this, you definitely want to let it set overnight and let everything dry really well. And that's why you don't see a finished uh, part here. You'll see that at the end. Cherry DIY number three. The other thing that I have here is this bottle, and I already painted this, I believe I painted this with plaster, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it this color, and I wasn't even sure what I was gonna use it for, but I think it'll be perfect for this project. So when I was in Walmart the other day, I found this uh, blue cotton color from Apple Barrel, and I think I'm gonna put that over the top of this, and I'm actually gonna kind of model it or dot it on and I'm gonna see how that looks and if I don't like that we'll just paint it over you know we'll just paint the whole thing over again I wasn't really sure what color to use with the cherry red and the white but I think that this blue is gonna be the right thing all right so I'm using um, I think this is like a stencil brush and just kind of dotting it all around and then the way I'm liking it is I'm like leaving some spots white so it kind of looks a little bit like it's the blue is kind of wearing off some 
All right, and then I'm gonna take my red gingham ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue a band around the top. And I think that that red is gonna offset that nicely. It's gonna be kind of a red gingham for cherry. And then I'm gonna make a small bow. And I'm also using my glue gun to do that. I'm just folding one side over the other one. And then I'm gonna trim it. And then I'm gonna take some jute and I'm gonna wrap that around it and kind of tighten it. So I'm gonna tie it in a knot and kind of tighten it. And then I'm gonna um, trim the jute in the back. And then after I do that, I'm going to glue it on the front of the little bottle here and then I'm going to go ahead and trim it up and then I have a little star these are those stars I got from um, Amazon so I'm gonna put that on cherry DIY number four we're gonna take one of these little mini scoops I actually got a package of three of these and I painted it white and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this blue I'm gonna kind of dab it all over here and kind of a mottled look to it and I'm gonna let that dry, and then after that's dry, I'm gonna hot glue a little cherry to the bottom of it, and then I'm gonna take more of that gingham, and I'm just gonna kind of pile these on top of each other. It's kind of like I'm doing a mini stacked bow. And I'm gonna put those together, and then I'm gonna just trim those up a little bit, glue it right there, that's where I'm gonna glue it. And then um, after that, I decide that I'm gonna take this little palette, same thing, painting this all white, the same color white I used earlier. And we're going to just go ahead, and this is just an acrylic white. I think it's folk art. All right, so we're going to let that set up and dry. And then we're going to make another little bow. I decided that I wanted to add to the gingham bow, so I'm making a tiny little blue bow, hot gluing that, trimming it up, sticking it on top of that one making sure I trim it so you can see the gingham underneath. And then we're gonna take our palette and we're gonna glue this to the back of, to the front of the palette. And then I'm just gonna add a little star to the top. And it's done. purchased that sweet little cherry sign there and I will link that below I got that off of Etsy and I just think it's adorable so what do you think of my tray let me know I'd love to hear what you have to say I'd love to hear if you like it if you like tiered trays please subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of these type of videos from me thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video